from CBS4, this is Haystack Help Radio on 670 KLTT, Colorado's Christian station. Haystack Help Radio is powered by HaystackHelp.com. Finding help can be like finding a needle in a haystack. But with HaystackHelp.com, finding the needle just got a lot easier. Now, the host of Haystack Help Radio, Scott Watley. Welcome to Haystack Help Radio. I'm Scott Watley. Thank you so much for joining us today. As we talk about every day on our show, our goal is to help you. All of our TV segments on CBS, here on KLTT, with Haystack Help Radio, our goal is simple, and that's to help you. Our referral list is haystackhelp.com. There you'll find pre-screened businesses. We've got attorneys. We've got contractors, mortgage companies, automobile dealerships, and repair shops, and a multitude of things. So if you hadn't had a chance to check us out, uh, check out our website at haystackhelp.com. Our number is 303-333-HELP. That's 303-333-4357. You can call that number anytime, but during the show, if you call the number, you can speak with our guest if you have a question about the topic we're speaking of. And if not, and if you have a problem, we will take a break from what we're doing and help you. So give us a call, 303 303- Three 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 four three five seven. Today in studio, we have George Bentley, and George was with us just a, a week or so ago on the show. George is the owner of Bentley Bass. They're located at 131 Calamuth in Denver. Their number is 303-388-8887. His website is bentleybass.com. George Bentley is a nationally recognized attorney, certified aging in place specialist, and consumer advocate. He's the author of the book, Thrive Now, How to Die Young at an Old Age. That's a great title there. (laughs) He's the founder and CEO of Bentley Baths, Amazing Walk-In Therapy Tubs, and the creator of Bentley Medical Hydrotherapy. George is recognized as one of the nation's leading experts on walk-in bathtubs, bathing safety, and medical hydrotherapy aging safely in our own home. So, George, first of all, thanks for coming back and being with us. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate it. Always a pleasure. You know, we, first of all, you know, you are our real consumer advocate for seniors. You just have so much experience in this. And, you know, let's just talk a little bit about, for maybe people that didn't, hadn't been able to see you on our Haystack segments or uh, heard your first show, a little bit about just who you are and then how Bentley Baz even came about. Sure. Well, I I tell people I wasn't looking for this business. This, this business found me. Uh, as you said, I'm an attorney, and back in 2003, I was helping seniors in foreclosure, and I had a youth at risk program that I was uh, very passionate about and committed to. And uh, I get a phone call from my father. I was raised in rural Arkansas. My mom and dad are living in the home that uh, my mother was born in. This is the house that my sister and I were raised in after my grandparents passed. And the phone call is one that I now know is epidemic. It's happening millions and millions of times every year here in the United States. And my father says, you know, your mom fell in the bathtub this morning. She broke her hip. She's in the hospital. She's going to be fine. They say everything's okay. She'll be home in a couple of days. Well, nothing could have been further from the truth. When my mom fell and injured herself, that put her on this downward spiral medically. Um nearly bankrupted my parents. It was six weeks before we got her out of the health care system. She had all kinds of medical problems. And that's why the book, you know, How to Die Young at an Old Age, it's, right. it, it sounds like an easy thing to say, but it's it, it really is much easier to accomplish, I've found out, uh, than we thought. But most people don't realize that we are physically capable of aging well beyond 100 if we take care of ourselves. And these injuries that are epidemic, especially to people over the age of 65, are one of the leading causes of life-shortening type conditions. And that was my mom. And she went on this downward spiral. Um, Dad, she came home from the hospital, $30,000 out of pocket. That's uninsured medical expenses. My parents had pretty good health insurance. Dad became the primary caregiver, thought the stress was going to kill him. I mean, it was palpable. It was very, very tragic. Right. Uh, he's trying to take care of it and then we get back to the bathroom again this is all hindsight Mm -hmm. okay sure (laughs) sure we we were living this just like millions of other other uh baby boomers and their parents out there right now and in hindsight here we go the bathroom again now my dad's going i i I can't 
I can't help your mom bathe. I can't get her in and out of the tub. I'm, I'm injuring myself trying to do this. And that's the point where all the professionals said, you know what, it's time for her to go into a nursing home. And she went into a nursing home, and it cost my parents about seven to $10,000 every month. Um, and she lasted three months, and she passed. And I still didn't think about a business or anything like that. My first reaction, I have a book called The Five um, the Killer Bathrooms, What You Must Know About, about right. Making Your Bathroom. So that's what I did. I wrote this little book on it. Uh, and then the next thing that evolved, and I tell people, you know, I, I don't know, if, well, this is a Christian radio station, right? right. <laughs> well, God just kept putting in front of me these events. This is what I need to be doing. I was meant to be here talking to you today. Everything's just kind of leading up to this, but I didn't get it with my mom. I wrote the book. I still didn't get it. Then my dad was diagnosed and he was going to have both his hips replaced. And the doctor said, well, you know what? You'll recover. We'll do them sequentially. You'll do the first. You'll recover. We'll do your other hip. You'll recover. But you know what? At 87, which you or I'm sorry, 85 at that time, they said, statistically, you probably won't be able to drive. You'll probably be on a walker. You'll probably need to go into a nursing home. Or maybe you can move out to Colorado and live with your son, George. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so I get a call from my dad that night, and it's like, I love you, but I'm not moving to Colorado. <laughs> you know, right, I'm like, right. what's going on? Anyway, the bottom line was, right here we are again. Now my dad is being told he can't live independently. He, he was very clear he never wanted to go into a nursing home. He wanted to live and transition in that family home. And that's when I started this process of trying to figure out how to keep my dad safe at home. And I discovered this technology that we're hearing more and more about now. Now, this was seven years ago, eight years ago. And it's walk-in bathtubs, transition tubs, safe bathing technologies. And I, I found out very quickly that this technology was very much like the old aluminum siding days. A lot of lead generation national companies that are sending closers into the home and high pressure sales, low quality product. And, and I experienced people spending a lot of money and getting a very low quality solution. And that's when I said, you know what? There's a serious need out there. We need somebody that's either stupid enough mm -hmm. <laughs> to spend the time and the money to, to become an expert in this field. But I think, you know, again, I was very passionate about it. And my first mission was to help my dad. And so since then, I've, I know all the products, who's selling them, how they're selling them, how they're made, what's quality, what's not quality. And we're very committed to helping our customers and their adult children and their loved ones figure out what is the best solution for them. How do I accomplish that goal of aging safely right there in my own home, if that's what I want? The, the, the real challenge is freedom of choice. Right. Freedom of choice. If, if I want to transition over into an assisted living facility or move in with my children or something like that, great. I, I want that choice. But as a senior or somebody with a health or mobility issue, if I want to stay in the home environment that I'm in, I think I should be empowered to have that choice as well. And, and that that's our whole commitment relative to Bentley Baths, helping people accomplish that goal. And most seniors that I've, I've I've been around with her family members or friends. I mean, boy, that's the last thing most of them want to do is leave their home, you know, and so to make that, that safe for them. And, you know, I know one of the statistics that you gave us um, when you mentioned the nursing home is 80% of all people in nursing homes are there due to some type of complication from a fall. Yeah. I mean, that's an overwhelming statistic. It's stunning. I mean, and here's how that happened. I'm walking out of the nursing home with my mom's possessions. She had just transitioned, and I'm in a fog. Now, remember, I called my mom Nana Schwarzenegger. Before <laughs> she fell and hurt herself, she was healthy as a horse. She didn't have any of those age-related conditions that a lot of my aunts and uncles had. Other members of their age group were dealing with their friends and loved ones were dealing with. And my mom was the one everybody said is going to outlive everyone. She just was the little energizer bunny. She wasn't having any serious health problems until she fell and hurt herself in that bathtub. And, and I did call her Nana Schwarzenegger. She worked out five days a week. And I'm walking out with her possessions, and I'm kind of in a fog, and the supervising nurse was leading me out, and, she, and I'm muttering, right? I'm going, what a fluke. How bizarre this is. And she looks at me, and she touches me on the shoulder and says, what did you say? And I said, oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm just kind of muttering. My, my mom was very healthy a year ago until she fell in the bathtub and broke her hip. Now, a year later, we've lost her in a nursing home. That has got to be one in a million. I mean, how bizarre is that? <laughs> And she waves her arm around this waiting room where everybody is kind of parked. Right. And she goes, George, 80% of the people in here 
are in it for exactly the same reason as your mom. This is not a fluke. This, what happened to your mom is an epidemic. Why do you think she had to wait for three weeks for a bed to open up? Why do you think there's already somebody in the bed that she vacated? And I'm like, well, we can put people in space. We can have all these great medical accomplishments and technology, and I can pick up my little phone and talk to my daughter in Thailand and with no wires, and we can't make our bathrooms safe? It just didn't make sense to me. So that's, that's what got me on. And, and these statistics, the Center for Disease Control, I mean, you got a 30-minute program here. Over 120 seniors will fall and injure themselves during this radio broadcast. Once every 15 to 18 seconds, another senior is falling and injuring themselves. I mean, it's truly one of those silent epidemics. And if we don't educate ourselves, become aware of this, it is going to continue to impact not only personal lives, but our health care system, our, our society. Our, I mean, you just look at all the expense that's involved in this process. You know, the tubs that you have are, are really, I mean, I've been in your showroom and I mean, they're, they're not some kind of medical looking device. I mean, they're nice, you know, I mean, they are really, really nice. So certainly encourage everyone to go by and look at your showroom or check out your website. Again, we're visiting with George Bentley. He's the owner of Bentley Baths. They're located at 131 Calumet in Denver. His phone number is 303-388-8887. And the website is BentleyBaz.com. George, we mentioned about the um, seven killers in the bathroom. Yeah. Let's just kind of touch on those for, and just, you know, I want to get people thinking about this just like you do. And that's one reason we have our show is just to educate people and just to get them thinking about things because I mean, all of us have seniors in our life, you know, I mean, I'm 60, you know, I'm I'm, I'm right there. (laughs) Well, you're my friend. See, that's why I have one in my life. We baby boomers, you know, we have 10,000 baby boomers turning 65 every day. And we have for the last year and a half, and we will continue to have that number of people turning 65 for the next five or six years. I mean, this is not a problem that is going to diminish in the foreseeable future. We have a vastly aging population. And I don't know about you, but, but you know, as a baby boomer, most, most folks I know in my age group uh, are going into old age kicking and screaming. Mm-hmm. And we want to be vibrant, and we want to thrive, and we want to be healthy. So when I started researching and, and looking into why the bathroom is, is really, it's the, it is ground zero. It is the most dangerous 10 square feet on earth for anybody over the age of 65. And that sounds like a lot of hype, but statistically, it, it really isn't. And, and why I've structured Bentley Baths, you know, walk-in therapy tubs, the way that I have is we do in-home evaluations. We're certified aging in place specialists. We're trained to go in and take a look around the home. My, I dedicated you know, this company to the memory of my mom. And one of the things that my mom always said to me is, George, knowledge is power. Knowledge will free you. You need to get information so that you understand circumstances, then make decisions. And I'm really encouraging seniors and their adult children, anyone with age-related or degenerative health conditions, or whether it's, it's weight, accident, or illness-related mobility issues, you need if I can be so bold, you need to have this knowledge and information. It, it's, re, it's just a reality. So how do I get that information? The, these, uh, we are low pressure. We don't talk people into stuff. We're all about education. Right. So our evals are designed to go into the home, evals, evaluation process, mm-hmm. and help assess what's really going on in the home. And, and I will tell you right now, there, there are three things in every bathroom that I've looked at, and not that I've looked at every single one, but, but if you talk about our traditional American bathrooms, three things that we can do for under $100 that is going to make that bathroom 100 times safer. And we just don't know. We don't have the knowledge to do that. Right. Well, what are those three things? Well, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, you know, <laughs> we joke, but towel bars should be illegal. Towel bars injure and kill more people than any single device. Because everyone thinks that is something they can really hold on to when they start to go, right? Yeah. And it rips right out of the but, wall. Uh, let's be honest about it, okay? My dad is, you know, he is the king of denial, okay? He just, and most of us guys are like that, and a lot of females are as well. But the fact of the matter is nobody is excited with the idea of becoming weaker and less stable as we age. But it's a reality, 
You know, it's just a fact of life. And we need to understand that as we become weaker and less stable, what used to be a relatively safe environment now slowly morphs into this danger. My mom didn't just walk into the bathroom one day and go, oh, my goodness, I can't get into or out of the tub. Mm -hmm. She gradually tried to accommodate her mobility and stability issues to that bathroom. That bathroom looked the way it looked since she was born. She didn't expect it to change. Mm -hmm. And we need to understand that we need to be proactively changing. So there is a, it's, it's a fight or flight instinctive reaction that we have. And if I'm unstable and I feel like I'm falling, I'm going to grab anything that I can to try to secure myself. And towel bars in a bathroom are almost always in proximity. Mm -hmm. And they're almost, we almost automatically migrate to that. And the well, problem true. is they're not designed to hold you up. Right. So, again, we have a myth that's called ridiculous thinking. If I focus my mind in one direction, then I tend to let go of everything else. So if I think that towel bar is going to be my salvation and I go for it, I can't, I, that's what I focus on. Then when it fails, I'm even in greater jeopardy. We're going to come back for number two and three here. He's got me in suspense. You're listening to Haystack Help Radio. We're visiting with George Bentley. Our number is 303 Three 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 four three five seven. Maybe you've got a question for George. Maybe you want to maybe check out and do something for your parents or grandparents. This would be a, a great thing to get maybe a, an evaluation in the home for safety. So we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with Haystack Help Radio. We are visiting with George Bentley, owner of Bentley Baths. Okay, so towel bars. Go away. Replace Go away. them with a grab bar. Something that's designed to support you. You can still put your towels on them. Uh, they have very nice, attractive designer towel bar. I mean, sorry, grab bars out right. there. Right. Just get rid of those things. They're dangerous. Okay. Um, what would you think would be the most obvious issue in a bathroom that creates danger? Probably some type of rug or mat. Or well, the, uh, the flooring is flooring. A, a big issue. I mean, slipping on the floor, mm -hmm. um, uh, improper flooring material, hard, unforgiving tile, things of that nature are one of those danger factors. And here, uh, that's a good point, okay? Uh, we know this stuff, but we don't think about it. A secret is, is a common truth that's practiced by few. And so we can say these are kind of a secret, but entering and exiting, that threshold of getting in and out of the tub is re or a shower, the, the transition process into and out of the bathing environment is really one of the biggest issues. And, and you may be able to get into the tub, but you will definitely reach the point in time where you will not be able to get back up off the floor and out of that tub. We've got a call from Victoria. Victoria, you're on Haystack Help Radio. How can we help Hi. you? Hi, I have a question. I am an adult child. Um, my father is 73 years old, and he suffers from diabetes, and I just wanted to see how um, a walk-in tub would benefit my father from a diabetes standpoint and being able to stay in his home. Okay. George? Well, uh, there are really three things here that, uh, on the knowledge point, back to that, that I think everyone who's living in the home they want to stay in, whether that's your family members or yourself, need to be clear on one is what sort of accessibility do I need? What type of bathing appliance is appropriate for me? And diabetes, it depends on the type your your father has and how progressive it is, but it is it is a degenerative condition. So what okay. if we look into the future, he's young, he's relatively young, in his 70s. If you look into the future, what what is the prognosis what do you see happening and if we can expect and anticipate greater deterioration in mobility then I would suggest you think about a bathing appliance that's engineered for the rest of his life and that might be a transition tub or a larger walk-in tub number of, of situations there the other thing I would say that's then this is this is the gold nugget Vicki Victoria and that is is it all right if I call you Vicki <laughs> Um, that's fine. Yes. <laughs> that's fine. The, the real gold nugget is the medical hydrotherapy. When, when we replace whatever bathtub or shower that your dad is dealing with now with a deep soaking uh, appliance that's engineered for his mobility issues and we put our trademark medical hydrotherapy in there, that can be truly life altering for him. We now have non-aggressive, medically appropriate, temperature appropriate, whole body massage available for him in the home 24-7 as needed. And these conditions like arthritis, diabetes, multiple sclerosis, you know, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, you just go down the list. They wow. all respond to medical hydrotherapy. And you, right. if, if your, your dad's doctor doesn't prescribe our medical hydrotherapy system for him, 
he will be the first one. And if he wouldn't prescribe it for him, I'd like to know that, and I'm going to be on the phone to, the, mm-hmm. <laughs> to that doctor to ask why. I mean, it's just that medically appropriate. So that, that right. would be the other thing I would say, um, that I would be very optimistic about the benefits that your father might experience from this type of technology. And the medical hydrotherapy that you talk about would help him from a diabetes standpoint. Absolutely. Di- anything that's going to stimulate the circulatory processes, the lymphatic system, going to stimulate his neurological processes. There's a lot of neuropathy and, and circulatory issues that develop with conditions such as arthritis. And this whole body non-aggressive massage is, is, is actually a replacement for exercise. I mean, our body cleanses itself through movement. I'm not talking about weightlifting like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm talking <laughs> about that cleansing process. Uh, that's the way our bodies were engineered and again if you want to die young at an old age one thing that'll never change is move exercise keep your blood flowing because that's how we cleanse the toxins out so and that, I think that's where he needs the help from that you know as far as his diabetes it has slowed him up and has a lot of swelling and all that um, stuff that comes along with being a diabetic well and that's why the medical uh, community refers to these conditions as degenerative If if we don't do something to slow or stop that process, it's just going to continue to worsen over time. And I'm not telling you that that we can cure diabetes or anything like that, but I am telling you that we can manage and we can't. It's a function of giving our body what it needs and helping our body to heal itself and repair this damage that's happening. And the medical hydro, we actually have a nurse on staff. Um, oh. and we work with our customers for over 12 weeks uh, and we teach them how to use the hydrotherapy based on their subjective and unique medical conditions and that's another reason why we've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of doctors prescribing our our systems for our customers wow well, that's just really exciting that's just a guy thank you so much for the information and, and victoria uh, uh, my my sister's actually a diabetic and she's 55 and actually last year had to have a leg amputated Oh my! And oh, one I'm of the things to... that, you know, r- really has helped her in this last year. She was just here two weeks ago, and I mean, she looked like a brand new person. She got a hydrotherapy type tub. She lives in Virginia, and oh, uh, and okay. she also they actually put a, a pool in. They had to move to get the house all fixed up for you know for the handicap access and and I cannot tell you the difference it has made in her. I mean, it's lowered all these different numbers from blood pressure to everything right. and she feels great you know just think about this just i mean our bodies where we are mostly water mm-hmm. <laughs> so the idea of water-based therapies are just a huge benefit to us from a health perspective whether we've got some significant health or mobility challenge or not just being able to deep soak just being able to have my body in a, a, a reduced gravity environment relu- releases the stress on my connective tissues, my joints, helps my circulation, hydrates my uh, joints and connective tissues. Very positive. Hey, do you guys right. don't, do you, you don't charge anything to go out for the evaluation? Absolutely not. Never. Victoria, Never. you ought to give them a call, 303-388-8887. Tell them you heard about it on Haystack Help Radio. and. George, we may be back at the office here in a little while, but set up a time. Okay. Let them just come out and take a look. And, well, that and, sounds and, like an idea. And I promise, and, and I mean, I mean this with all my, I, I prom- they are there to help and not sell you something, okay? I, I mean, I That prom- sounds great. Well, I appreciate the information, and um, thank you for sharing your story. All right. You sure wish okay. the best for your dad Good as luck. well. Thank you. All right. Mm, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, George, we got three minutes left, so I want to make sure everybody understands those three things. So run through those for us one more time. Well, one is get rid of towel bars, replace them with grab bars, and think about stabilization devices. And we can help you with that with the eval. Again, it's kind of a no-brainer. Our evaluations are absolutely free. Um, and, and so the information will be very helpful for you. The other is getting rid of the transition issues. We were never intended physically to, to lay on the floor to take a bath. I mean, I tell people this is the way we'll all bathe in the future. But right now, demand for our walk-in appliances is primarily driven by folks with mobility issues. But but get rid of the transition dangers, whether that's into it. People think showers are safer. They're really not. We're much less stable in a shower, and we're much more likely to fall and injure ourselves in a shower. The problem with tubs is getting in and out. And even if you can get into it, the day will come when you can't get back out of it. So that that's kind of a big one. And, and the other thing is, it's the little strange 
strains, injuries, overexertions that like my mom, actually she had a traumatic injury, but the little ones, the spraining and straining, like what my dad was doing trying to bathe her, those little injuries really take a toll over time. And the fact that we have to stretch and reach for valves in the bathroom, things that are not placed appropriately for us. I mean, if you're sitting in a regular bathtub and the valves are past your feet, uh, a lot of people find it very difficult and stressful to try to m operate those valves, reach them. And so we always recommend fully ADA compliant valves and solutions for, uh, for our customers and located so that they're, they're ergonomic and they're easily accessible for them. You know, and I've sat in some of the tubs just in your showroom, and they're so comfortable. I mean, yeah. my problem would be wanting to get out. Well, <laughs> but you don't need to get out. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, man, they are so comfortable and, and a very nice look. So visit the website, BentleyBath.com, Bentley Baths with an S, and then their number is 303-388-8887. They're located at 131 Calumet. Go by, just take a look. Let George walk you through, talk about your situation like our caller Victoria just did, and let them come out and give you a free evaluation. I mean, that is something that is just, um, you know, something very needed. And so many of us wait till we get that phone call. That's and then exactly we think right. about it for the for the, maybe the, the the other spouse. That's well, left, that's where you know, we got the tagline: uh, "Call before you fall." Right. Uh, we've trademarked that. If you if the injury happens, you can't unring that bell. So we need to be proactive and prevent them from happening. And if I could also say, Scott, we have an eight hundred number. Okay. Eight hundred six eight eight zero zero five five. We're happy to help your loved ones anywhere in the United States. All right. Well, George, thank you very, very much for coming in today and great information for us. And thank you for tuning in to Haystack Help. This is the only radio show that features companies you can trust because we've checked them out. Don't forget to visit our website at haystackhelp.com, which is a free consumer referral service and a place to go for help. And you'll find more reliable companies like Bentley Baz. Thank you for joining us. You can always reach us at 303-333-HELP. That's 303 303- 333-4357. My name is Scott Watley and have a great afternoon.